In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create a gamble command for your economy discord bot. If you're new around here, this is a series where we create an economy discord bot from scratch. So if you missed out the first few videos, I'll have the full playlist linked down below. So let's get started by creating a command file and I'm going to create this inside my economy folder. I'm going to call it gamble.js. As usual, our command file will be exporting an object and this object will have data as well as the run function. Now let's start off with data and inside we're going to set the name to gamble. We also want to set a description, which is going to be gamble some of your balance. Now we also need an option for the amounts that the person wants to gamble. So let's go ahead and add an array of options. And this is only going to have one object. The name is going to be amount. The description is going to be the amount you want to gamble. The type is going to be of number. And to use that, we need to bring in application command option type, which is going to be from Discord JS. So let's go ahead and set this to dot number. And this is required. So we're going to set required to true as well. That's enough to register our command. Now let's go ahead and set up our run function. We're going to go ahead and destructure the interaction object. And for now, I'm just going to go ahead and reply to this interaction by saying gambling some of your balance. I'll save my file and start my bot using node index.js. Okay, so the reason why it's showing all these registrations is because I actually deleted all my previous commands, but you should only get this one if you've already registered all the previous commands. So back in Discord, let's see if we have a gamble command. So we do have one with the option for an amount. So we can add something and if we hit enter, it's going to reply gambling some of your balance. Okay, now let's go ahead and write all the other functionality. So first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to make this function asynchronous. So I'm going to type async up here. And the first thing that I want to do is I want to check if the command is not being executed inside a server. So for that, we're going to say if not interaction in guild, and this is a method. So if this is the case, we're going to go ahead and reply. And we're going to set the content to you can only run this command inside a server. We are also going to set ephemeral to true. So only the person running the command can see this response. Finally, I'm also going to go ahead and return from this function because we don't want the code to run any further. Now let's go ahead and get this amount that the person tried to gamble. So we're going to say const amount equals interaction dot options dot get number. And we're going to pass in the name of the option, which in this case is amount. Now I actually want to set a minimum amount that a person can gamble, which is going to be 10. So I'm going to say if amount is less than 10, then I'm going to interaction dot reply. And I'm going to say you must gamble at least $10. And of course, we're going to go ahead and return. Now, after this, let's go ahead and fetch our user profile from the database. And to do that, we first need to import the user profile schema from our schemas folder. So right here, I'm going to say let user profile, and this is going to be await user profile dot find one. And inside, we're going to pass in a query, which is going to be the user ID. And the user ID is going to be interaction dot user dot ID. Now, if this user profile does not exist, we're going to say if not user profile, then in this case, we can create a new user profile by saying user profiles equals to new user profile. And inside, we're going to pass in the user ID, which is once again going to be interaction user ID. OK, now let's go ahead and check if the person is trying to gamble more than they have. So we're going to say if amount, which is the amount that they're trying to gamble, is more than user profile dot balance. Then in this case, we need to reply to them and tell them you don't have enough balance to gamble. And once again, we're going to go ahead and return. OK, so the code below this is going to run if they have enough balance. Now let's go ahead and determine if they actually want something. So we're going to say const did when and this is either going to be true or false. So let's go ahead and set this to math dot random is more than 0 0.5. So this variable will be set to either true or false depending on this condition. So if this random number is more than 0 0.5, then the person will have one. And if it's less than that, then the person did not win anything. Of course, you can change the odds over here, but setting this to 0 0.5 is pretty much a 50 50 chance that the person wins something. So let's go ahead and check if they actually won or let's check if they didn't win. So I'm going to say if not did win, then in this case, I'm going to go ahead and deduct the amount that they gambled from their balance. 
So I'm going to say user profile dot balance minus equals the amount. Then let's go ahead and save this user profile to the database using await user profile dot save. And then we're going to reply to this interaction by saying interaction dot reply. You didn't win anything this time. Try again later. And because that's the case, we need to return once again. Now the code below this is only going to run if the person did win something. So let's go ahead and determine how much they won. So I'm going to say const amount one, and I'm going to set this to this expression right here. Now this is going to generate a number up to 150% of what they bet. Of course, you can set this to whatever expression you want, but I feel like this works perfectly fine. Now let's go ahead and add this balance that the person won to their user profile. So I'm going to say user profile dot balance plus equal to the amount that they won. And then let's go ahead and save this user profile by saying await user profile dot save. And finally, let's go ahead and reply to this interaction by saying interaction dot reply. And here we're going to say u1 plus amount one. And then in a new line, I'm going to give them their new balance, which is going to be user profile dot balance. I'm also going to add this confetti emoji. So let's see what this looks like. I'm going to save my file and run it using node index.js. Back in Discord, I'm going to try to run the gamble command once again, but this time I'm going to use something like $50. So it says I won 69 and my new balance is 260. Let's try to run it once again and I'm going to gamble 50 once again. It's going to say I did not win anything this time. If I check my balance, you can see that it has been reduced from 260. So that's pretty much it. If you guys need any help, be sure to join my Discord server. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.